Hi guys, how is everyone? We're back with another Friday Live and we have a lot of fun things for you today, including another paint kit that we will be showing you and we'll be doing some demoing of. And we're using our same paint set, but it's super versatile and it's going to look amazing. Oh, you know what I didn't think about? I could probably bring out some of the you can keep talking because I probably could bring right. out some of the things that we painted on Wednesday's show, how right. different they can look. We'll also be showing a little bit of what you can do with the art metal, just like a quick thing, just to show you how the paints look on that. And we have some old videos with that too, as well as I will be showing you how I constructed the Cascading Blossoms cuff earring kit. So we will be showing you that as well, since I do have some very specific cuts you need to make to get the piece done correctly. I think, oh, and you know what? We should probably tell everybody that your limited designer kit sold out except for one. Oh, they, I didn't even know that. Yeah, there's only one left of one of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you know which one that is, Jean? Uh, I will look. I will okay. look to verify. If just it hasn't already gone. That was, as that was yesterday. Morning, really? So yeah. We'll just I didn't even it. know that. I know. So, well, good thing you did those layouts. No, you did the layout for a gift for the people that bought them. Yep. Yep. No, we do have one left of the ocean breeze. Wow, those went yes. really fast. Yes. Oh, yes. I know you did say you would be surprised if they didn't I sell know. out. <laughs> so. <laughs> I know. They're gorgeous and loaded. I like it when you do the limited designer series because there's... It's fun. Yeah, so many pieces. There's so there. much. So there's so much more inspiration. And it's like a whole like jewelry collection you can wear. Big, big value too. And Definitely. Definitely. Just add findings, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so what are we doing today? Oh, what... Um, so maybe you can talk about the paint set. Yeah, um, so we have a bunch of iridescence, and also what's special about this paint set is oh, that it does it include too. resin. I was just going to leave it there since it's in order for our technique no, I mean, today. put it up on the screen. But what, oh, yeah, you're right. I love the way her eyes get really big when she says, oh. I know. <laughs> so cute. Okay, that is now know on screen. I don't get any bigger. <laughs> But yeah, so we have our paint kit and um, a lot of stains, a lot of iridescence, and it creates a really cool effect. If you were watching on Wednesday, Mackie did an amazing piece that you can use with any piece that has like some open work in it or is sort of a frame. I can show you what she did and the two variations using the flex. Oh, well, this is the necklace, but I'll just give you the uh, her piece that she actually did on Wednesday. So she did this one on Wednesday. I will show you a close up, but it also looks really amazing on camera from here. Um, just give me one second. So this is just, okay. This is just one technique you can use with all of these paints. And here's a variation and the resin. of it. And here's another variation of how that can come out just depending on how your colors mix together, but they still create a very similar looking piece and it's really gorgeous. And then all the pieces right below those are painted, correct? Yeah, this is with our paint kit today. This is our jewelry kit and this is using the same paint set. So we will show you guys more of this later but this is what we will be painting which you did a great job on thank you well i loved it and i especially loved this piece here yeah this piece came out so amazing we we're like ah oh, should we use this yeah. and then i was like yeah let's use it and it came out like even better than you would like expect and we only put resin on one piece there which was the butterfly if you want to hold that up yeah we just did the same effect as everything else and then we just put a thin coat of resin over the top of it for that ultra enamel look yeah and it looks super pretty i think the difference between what mackie was doing on like this is the difference between what she was doing on Wednesday is she was doing like pool filling, you know, filling pools and reservoirs and voids and all that kind of thing. 
And then we are doing a much more literal enamel, cold enamel today. Yep. And this one is just a, not just, I shouldn't say just, but this is a pendant earring kit. So you'll notice it's much more reasonable. It's $32 because it doesn't include the necklaces. And normally yeah. they're 58 to 68 yep. to even maybe more. But this one you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight things, two full pairs of earrings. Earring, ear wires are included. And one, two, three, four, five, six pendants. And the jump rings are included. So th this is great. I would just add yeah. a chain. Like yeah, a chain all you need to do pack, is just right? add chain. And we do have some of those still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I will pop those on screen. I just added the Fluttering Garden with cart 101 if that's what you want to purchase today and so you'll be de demoing the fluttering garden and your super super cute are you going to put it on your cuff kit your earrings yeah i can put it on in a little bit mm -hmm. but yeah they'll they, be fun to watch and you're going to demo that and yep. then and we'll show a little bit of the art metal and then this is just an example piece of what can be done with art metal. So this okay. is actually this art is... metal. And that you could put a pin back on too. And this is based on Sawyer's master class, but he made it into a pin. Linda is asking to the, the art metal. Oh yeah. Yes. That's this one. This one is the this one's painted. You wanna hold that? There you go. Yeah, it, there are some really gorgeous effects you can get on it. It has a really nice deep base for big contrast. Yes. Something about the art metal, too, is we, in this kit, there are some that we don't have any more of at all. And then there's some that we have some more of. But once we're done, because we don't produce art metal at all anymore. Um, but once they're gone, they're gone. So Jean made these great packs. We sold quite a few of those packs already. I don't know how many are left. There's a few of the cuff kits, right? So the your cuff kits there's left. Only are there? There, there's 12 you made. Or there's are like they six sold out left, yet? Right? Um, Avanda's asking if there are any. There are. So I, there are some. There sh they should be. Yep. There should be six, I think. Yeah. Have we put that up? Have we put that um, code We up? have not, but we also have not popped it on screen. Sure thing. Yep. Just okay. a few minutes, Vonda, and we'll we'll pop that baby on. Oh, um, maybe you can show that we have some of these available. You don't have to pour them out, but they're just so appealing. If you turn them over and show them, and that's the that's the rare vintage charm. It's labeled wrong. <laughs> What does it say? It's oh, the, it poured back, poured back into the wrong bag. I yeah. probably did that without my that glasses. Is, that's <laughs> Ainsley's pet peeve. It's funny. It happened the other Here, day, too. Here, hand me that, and I'll pull off the label. <laughs> I do this all the time, you guys. It's oh, you put it yeah. in the Bone Fairy one. It's just a demo. There you yeah, go. it's that's not a big deal. A demo I was just like, did they make like a specific metal pack for the Bone Fairy? And I'm like, wait a second. It's just probably from the wrong bag. <laughs> But yeah, let me pop that code up on screen because I do think we should still. These are an incredible deal. So the difference between these is, I don't know, you guys might have heard. I can come over with you for a second. Mm -hmm. You might have heard us talking about us getting, um, I'm just going to come on with Ainsley for a second. You might have heard of us talking about, um, getting in touch with that 80s designer two of them actually now and one of them did some design work for Miriam Haskell but his line is like sells for 500 to a thousand dollars per necklace it's insane so he obviously did not work for Miriam Haskell anymore went on his own and took over this really well-known company but anyway they had overstock that's 40 to 60 years old. And I, yay, I got Jean. I had a FaceTime with Jean last night because <laughs> I did an unboxing that I had just gotten in. And I was freaking out so bad that I, um, I just was, I had a, I had a FaceTime. I think it's funny too, because I'm normally like 
not as gushy. Yeah. But she can tell you I was really excited. Her about eyes were this like, stuff. what? <laughs> so anyway, when we do this, when we offer these, this is a pairing of some vintage and two of those designer mixes. I mean, you're gonna find some things like um, beautiful like hearts and cherubs and all sorts of cool things in that one. And then I think there's, if you turn it over, yeah, like all different kind of cool gold plated pieces and pieces that we have never had in our catalog because they just didn't exist. And so we kind of mix them all together and you are in for some huge surprises, and there's like 45 to 70 pieces in those. So we have a decent supply of those. So go ahead and load up on them. I promise you, you will not be disappointed because it's like under a dollar a piece. And these sell anywhere from 8 to $12 a piece. So it's an insane. It's insane. Yeah, and these pieces are just super unique and pretty I yeah feel like it's, it's just, just super fun to design with it's just like the perfect design seed for getting oh. somebody started on yeah. making one of a kind jewelry if you have like a big event coming up that you need to stock oh or, yeah yeah charm bracelets necklaces earrings like so many different um things that you can make and especially you can tout one of a kind jewelry because you're no one's going to be able to get it yeah So what do you do? You want to or do you want to start painting first, or, or are you gonna do your blah your cuff set first? I like think painting? it's probably easier just to start painting since we have all the stuff ready for that to go. All right. Well, that's it. we'll just pull this here. So it's all yeah. the way to. I'll lift this up and then you pull. Can you pull that to your? There you go. And then I pull that out of the way. Is that where you want it? You got it. How's that? Freedom, right? Yes. I love this lineup today. Sometimes it feels like Fridays are a little um, rushed, but I feel like we were super prepared today, don't you? Yeah, it does feel super prepared. Good to go. I don't know why. Maybe because we ate well? I didn't. Really? Yeah. <laughs> My stomach doesn't feel good though, so I didn't want to eat anything. Oh, do you have a belly ache? Yeah, I've had one for like all of yesterday and the night before, so. To try sparkling water. Oh, Joanne is asking yeah. about um, if we do o OAKs anymore. No, we're, we are not doing OAKs. You guys, these, they were... I loved doing them while we did them. Mackie did an amazing job, but they were so much work. I'm going to come over here just to you. keeping track of who ever, you know. They were so, that was even making okay. Making sure everybody got their things and the time she had to take to make one That's thing. the thing. That's the thing. So it was time. just, she curated them and it was so much work for her, which is fine. She doesn't mind work at all. But we were, we said they were going to be super limited time um, that we were going to do those because, you know, we kind of run out of stuff too. Yeah. We were running out of things. If we do a warehouse sale, there might be something like that. Yeah, or like true. maybe on a special occasion. Maybe, maybe, but. I think we'll do $100 scoop lots at the warehouse yeah. sales. But yeah, it was. Um, but you know what she's doing? Mackie's doing a lot of variety packs. And she said, honestly, if you buy a couple of the variety packs together, it's like having an OAK. She said just three variety packs that are like $35 is probably more than what's in the OAK. So, or equal to. So hopefully you guys are. Oh, you what? know what we can do? Let's show. Did we show this already, right? Yeah, just put it on screen. Like yeah. That. Fill up that corner. Let's fill up this corner here. That's not quite on screen. It's you not. You need to be using your glasses from earlier. Your Me? Glasses you bought. <laughs> I know. She's just I do. being a little sassy. 
Well, it's because they're readers. You don't wear them all the time. I know, but I do. I do need to, Peggy. You're so right. Can you come over here and help me and remind me to do those things instead of just pouring things in random bags? <laughs> oh. So, Ainsley, you haven't um, worked with this yet, have you? No, I haven't. You're going to love it. This one is particularly It'll fun just make you guys more garden. confident that you can do it. Because it's my first time doing it just right now. Well, it's so gardeny feeling. Oh, um, Becky is wondering <laughs> if we could dump one of the limited packs. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Let me... Um... She, she missed it and the cart number. Okay. So Let... if we want to do that for her really quick before Ainsley starts. I'm not going to... I'll dump it out onto something different. Yeah. And I'll just, just put, put it, it on the board in a and, huge and then, and tray here. Just hover it over what she's doing, right? I'll dump it out into this heart. Yeah, these are really, really loaded, guys. Okay, first of all, you probably hear this. Thank you, Karen, also for making us aware of her request. Sometimes we're answering another question and miss them as they come in. So if we ever miss something, ask again. And thank you, you guys, when you help each other out. Well, I poured it into this um, tray, and you can't... Here, let me do it into this. You really just can't see... I'm getting there, guys. Go ahead. You can keep going, Ains, and, okay. and I'll bring that. When it's ready, I'll pour it out for everyone. I just love this. What do you guys think of this color combination from this week? I am bonkers for it. Yeah, you and Matthew yeah, they're nailed amazing. it. I want to spread these out so everybody can see just how much is in this. the camera angle that you have going there today too it oh, shows a little bit better of what Ainsley's doing um except for maybe move your move your water cup over a little bit in my might not block it there we go is that gonna bug you <laughs> well she's not gonna dip not gonna knock. she's not even gonna use the water <laughs> That's not, I probably didn't tell you, but you don't even use water on this one. Oh. Because you're not using your brush. She's, she doesn't have to even rinse it out. Nope. That's probably why it wasn't on the set list. Probably show. You can just completely move it out of the way. Yeah. What brush that do you want to use? Yeah, are we just using the back of a brush? Or no brush, just dump. <laughs> but you're dumping mostly, and then you're going to be using like a silicone. the back of it, the back of a brush, or silicone, whichever you want. Okay, this is so Oops. pretty. I just randomly took one. It might have been one of the ones that was photographed. I'm not sure. But if you guys um, want to see what these design mixes look like also. Oh, more of an assortment. That she loves the lighter colors this week. Oh. oh if you okay. want more of an assortment, guys, you can go and see them on the, on the website. I mean, on the Vintage Live Shop. We have that in there. Okay, tell me when I'm on screen. This You're is on screen. Okay, this is how this is it laid out. Just one of the random bags. So this is how much, Jane? Forty something bucks. Four of them. Four of these. Like this is from the forties. I mean, yeah, that piece is. Yes, old and there's detailed. one that's what. I we just need to put the maybe I already did. It. Never mind. Sorry. Yeah, and behind. you're behind. You're behind. Behind the times. I know. Sally this says, has been so many vintage pieces in here, you guys. Sally says, I think we hijacked Ainsley's show. We love you, Ainsley. <laughs> <laughs> but we always we always answer people's requests. It's okay, on you guys. This bunny is so adorable. I know. We are used to pivoting, right? You guys, we did a we did a um, private label for doTERRA and look, you can see the you can see the doTERRA drop, and that's one of those pizza pieces that we use. Isn't that funny? Anyway, hopefully you guys got a good idea, but you can go in the live shop and get another view of that. 
And I think this is important because people are going to want to paint these too. Yeah, they will. Yeah. So it's good to know what they're going to be looking at. And then when you're painting, they're going to be like, oh, I can do right. that to it those. It will look very similar to what um, you'll do on this butterfly. Yeah. Ooh, this is my favorite part. Except I'm going to um, probably have you come in a little bit. And then how is she... How, wait, you're going to have to wait a minute to see where she shows up in there because sure. we're so delayed. But, yeah, maybe a little higher. Range. I moved it up higher. Oh, perfect. Too. We're good. Our lovely uh, pre-shaking. Do you want me to shake while you... I'll shake while you start laying out. Okay. She likes her paints well mixed. Yep. For good reason. <laughs> oh, some of those went up on my hand. Because I did three at a well, time. Well, especially we work with a lot of the metallic oh effects. <laughs> and they, ha they do have a tendency to settle because yep. the metal pigments that are in there are heavier. Okay. I'm just going to put the example right below so we can see what we're look working with. All right, and was this the one that you pulled in the center, or would you like to take off the jump ring so it sits flat? So yeah, so you have a better experience. Good. I was Good lazy idea. yesterday, and I actually just did it straight onto the piece, and you can see how it pulled over to one side. Cool. Yeah, you it's actually a cool look though, okay. right? If you want to use this to look at comments too, I can leave this over here for oh you. Oh my gosh! That way you can change? still talk her through. What she's doing. That was really sweet of you. Oh, hey, hi, everybody. I actually <laughs> get to see your comments. Okay, so and then we're just going to go down the line. Yep, do you need a paint um, clearer? It's yes. Here. Of course, it like, goes at the bottom. And I could get one. Here it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know what we need to get one of those? Monica was saying she bought one of those Vortex um, shaker machines. Oh, yeah. You know what? Doug has them at the... Um... Doug was talking about, like, oh, doing awesome. a private label. Go ahead and start with that one. Like, doing our own one of those. How many people, like, are interested in that? I'm curious. So, what I did was one line, one tiny line like that. And then I went, like, a rainbow out to each side then with the next one. So then I put one on either side, really close, just drag it as a, not drop it, drag it. So I did this here, like one there and one oh, there. And let it come off. Oh, okay, it. got it. How's that feel? A little and better? Then, yeah, I got it now. One, if, as long as it's touching, yep, perfect. Because then it does this really gorgeous blending effect. And that's only if you want to do it exactly how I that did. That paint decided to splatter a little bit. Like Robin okay. said she picked up her, her bag of bottles to shake along with you. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, cute. Okay, so do you see why I did that now? So yeah. you could get the symmetrical look. And, and this one you don't even touch at all when you're done. Don't even touch it. The only thing you're allowed to do is pop a bubble. Is that pin that you're wearing that Sawyer made? Is that Sawyer made? Is that the same butterfly? Um, yes, it is. Saying, yeah. It is the same butterfly. Except this one wasn't painted. We, you, the one that it came in everybody's kit was painted. So all Ainsley's doing now. Oh my gosh. So all she's doing now is just layering. The paint on um, one by one. She's a little to the left of the screen right now, the butterfly is. Ainsley is to the left. Mm -hmm. Here. Can yeah, it's it moved as as I, it's we moved. We could probably just use the end of the paintbrush to scooch it. She's going to use perfect. Yeah. Ah! I do that all the time. All the time. So really it's just um, we put a comment yesterday in... And are there any bubbles in there? Yes. So you just barely 
off those bubbles and then set aside, leave it, don't touch it, and watch the magic happen. Wait, this should is... we do should we get her that metal straw again? Yes, but trick? not on this one. <laughs> she can do that one on this. Because this is like done. Oh, don't move it, right? Yeah, it's like done. Pull it <laughs> off to the side. Don't even touch what it. What the heck? Is that just so stunning? I'm freaking out. It's even I better than like mine. It's better than the first one. Me too. It's because she, we actually um, pulled the jump ring off. Yes, yeah, mine all right. dumped and yours was flat. Oh, Ainsley, that is so beautiful. And if you guys want to know the order, I'll tell you right now. It's whitewash, then moonstone, then iridescent green, print, then primitive green, then white gold, scarab wing, Day glow blue, hematite, lilac wash, day glow pink, and iridescent violet. And I always, and we always say on these, use them all, and it goes really fast. You saw how how fast that was like a minute, right? Yeah, it's like a like minute, zero time whatsoever. And it's because the way they blend. How are you feeling like how they're blending? They look really pretty blended and it's going to look even better after we add like a little bit of resin to yes. like give it that like enamel look. I just don't know how you can recreate that. You know, it's almost like what happens in nature, you know, how beautiful it is. Yeah. And you did some really nice thing on the edges. I think I, I think you kept yours a tiny bit more separate than mine. And mine blended maybe a little more, but definitely the jump ring is what caused mine to do. So I yeah. feel like my effect, leave the jump ring on. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, I just did the same thing, but I just did a circle starting in the middle. For this. Yep. Let me move her up. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> and do you want this closer? Yeah. How's that? So a circle in the center. Yeah. And so you're like the going very around middle. it. Yep. Just like that. And then I just, yep. Get ring around it. Ring around the rosy, which is a really morbid song. <laughs> you know the history of it. Um, do we have. Very morbid. We have, we can probably take the order. Someone was asking for, it's always the same, right? I posted a comment yesterday. Right. So I mean, Wednesday. Wednesday. Always so. the same. I actually wrote it mm -hmm. as a post on Wednesday. So if you want to find that, Jean, oh, yes. I and repost it. And then I'll comment back to her. First, I was like Did misunderstanding what she was saying by order. It was but. clear earlier. It's just not anymore. Mm -hmm. And if it's going off to one side, then just pull with your paints. Um, <clears throat> yeah. That one, this too. One's on one of our... <laughs> oh. So something you would have time to do. Let's say you wanted to do, like, ten cameos. I would do your center circle on all of them, then the next circle on all of them, then the next circle on all of them. And just keep going that way instead of one at a time. Especially when you're using this many paints. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea, Ainsley? Yeah, I agree. That's how I do things. Like when I was do did those um, feathers in the one, that's how I did it. That's oh, why nice. they're all so similar, similar. Yeah. If you want a different look, then just do them all at different times. Oh, Avanda says, it always amazes me how you can take a pretty piece and, like magic, turn it into something absolutely amazing. Aww. That's really sweet, guys. This one is pretty shocking how it changes. Because it'll go from Ainsley's, what she's doing right there, to this. And yeah. as you just let it sit, you'll let it sit and you'll let it, um, sometimes on those. It was just really, really deep in there. I think it's because the tip is got a bunch of paint on it. So when you're done there, I'm going to pull, oh, I'm going to clean off the tip. There it goes. And it kind of is pulling, you see how that's fun because that's kind of pulling the paint too. Pulling it off to the edges. Yeah. There, I cleaned your, I cleaned your tip. 
ponytail. And you know, it's, it's really fun to see when you let things just go, like let them pool, how they pull, like that's organically going to happen. If Ainsley wants to stop that pulling, she'll just push it out of the way. So it doesn't pull off like that. So if you want to stop the bleeding there. Yeah, we just move it. Go. Just move it and then wipe it off and then move it back. Can you um, pop up the paint kit again for people who are curious? To I will. On? Here you go, um, there's your last one. Okay. Cute. You have everybody's comments so you can see. Mm -hmm. Reflection pool. There you go. There's the paint kit. This one's so pretty. This one has... It looks like it retained a lot more of the gold, which I really love. Oh, look at that at the end. That's like the crowning glory. Oh, so beautiful. All right. Is there any, it doesn't look like there's any bubbles really, right? Just one on to the left a couple or to the right. Here. And that's actually done, other than your bubble. Beautiful. Sometimes I use the eye of an eye pen, too. This to, one's a head pen. I know. I should get you. I'll get you an eye pen. Always. Maybe I'll use a paper towel since they're so tiny. Well, that will lick a bunch of stuff up. If yeah, that's true. Paper towel. Oh, I have a stack here for you. Well, we, we're not going to do it because it might wake it. Oh, I got it. Right here. Thank you, honey. Oh, gosh. This one's so stubborn. <laughs> it's, it's right there. It's like that surface tension battle, that? right? Yeah, it's still there. Push that off. How about yeah, now? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Pushing it off works. Man, handle it. <laughs> Drag it off to the side. Ooh, what are you doing next? Okay, now I'm now that you're doing this, I'm not telling you anything more except on the plastic, on the Lucite ones. You get to free form um, these two. You get to do Ainsley's one on those two. Okay. And then I will tell you what we did on yes. this one. Because I know you love that one so much. Yes. Clean this off really quickly. <laughs> Aren't you lucky, Renee Jean? Said she thought it was just her struggling with the bubbles. Oh, no. Yeah. That's part of... So the reason we get bubbles is because of the resin. It's right. like... It's part of the territory. Yeah, and you know, if you We just got bubbles, ladies. Yeah, and the only reason that we're okay. not using like a straw or paper towel with this is because we really don't want to disrupt... What the uh, magic, The right. magic of this particular technique, but a lot of the other ones, you can use those tricks, which make them a lot... Makes it a lot easier to get rid of. You want to do that one? Yes, I want to do this one. Do you want to do it that way or upside down the way you love it? The other direction... All I did for this one is the same exact thing, and I started the circle in the middle, and then I just went all the way around the edges, but it tended to um, pool up differently because of the way, um, Okay. you know, because of the way the filigree was shaped, so. Okay, Monica's asking, this is probably a silly question, when you drag the pieces, you get paint on the back. How do you take care of that? Wipe it off immediately. Yeah, you can wipe it, or if you, like I will, um, I usually paint the back a little bit with a complementary color and relief it. Um, like if you don't want to disturb it, like pick it up. Oh, well what yeah. I do, when there's paint on the back, I um, usually just take, so if you go in the early stages, or if you're letting it dry overnight or whatever and you want to take it off, you can use some... Um, acetone it's really hard to do it it's really hard to do it like several days after mm -hmm. but if you're gonna do it just take a little bit of fingernail polish remover and you that can do it in the early stages like I when the front's dry and the backs you can take it off that way um, also do you use like a q-tip or something to control it 
when you're using that? Just a paper towel. Or paper towel. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. take a paper towel and do that. And then what I'll do is um, if I've if I've gotten it on there and I'm and I moved it and I'm because it dries pretty quickly, you guys. Except this pooling technique, this dries a little slower because we're putting a lot of paint on it. This is another reason we're calling it reflection pools because we're pooling up the paint. Um, also, then what I would oh I I'll just finish real quick yes. and then you can say yep another question coming in. What I'll do is I'll pick it up and then I'll just wipe off the back with a paper towel because I usually, it doesn't usually upset it. Mm -hmm. So. And if you don't spill over the edges, if like Ainsley's not being messy here at all. It won't get on the back. It won't get on the back. Yes, this so, one won't have a back problem. I'm just a messy painter and I don't mind it when I get it on the back because I paint both sides a lot, but. Yeah. It's really great to have both options. Um, Amanda had a question mm -hmm. about. Oh yeah, let me see. The, I missed it. Make the bird another color. If you want another color to show instead of the white on the bird, can you do anything different to make that happen? Oh yeah, for sure. When we get to the bird, we'll we'll do some fun things. And you're talking about the little birds, right? Well, I, I'm wondering if she means on the cameo. Oh. Like it, you could probably yes, wait right it. now I'll show you, we'll show you on my cameo because I don't mind I don't mind changing that. What do you guys think about making the the cameo on my about this about this one? What do you think about making that Victorian gold? Would that be beautiful just to show you guys how we can do that after? So Ainsley, if you want to do that while your cameo is drying, go ahead and set her in the center of the frame. <coughs> Take your yeah, silicone lots brush. Of so I, so I okay, yes. good. Let's do it. <laughs> we're, we were going to do it anyway, by the way. Just <coughs> <let you know. laughs> and I never mind when we have our pieces that we're making examples of. I never mind doing what you guys want. Okay, so we're putting gold over it. So what I would do is put the gold on your silicone mat, and Ainsley is using a silicone mat. If you guys have seen, just do a little pile there. Yeah, and we have the set that includes the silicone mat, if you yeah, want ours. Yeah. That's in here somewhere, right? <coughs> it's down, down, down. Now, Ainsley, what number do you have right, right there of your brush? Are those numbered, Jean? I don't think so. No. Okay, so she's got the fine point silicone brush from the set. It's definitely not the smallest one, no. but it's... It's pointy. Pointy and looks like a medium size. No, Ainsley's not ever done this before. So she's just going to get some paint on her little silicone brush, and she's going to finely add the gold just to the areas. So she's experimenting just like you guys are. And so you'll be able to put as much or as little as you want on there. So is this white gold you're using? I'm using, did I say Victorian gold? Uh -huh. Sorry. It's Sorry white guys, gold. I meant white gold. But we can get Victorian gold. You can. You guys have a lot of paints at home. Put. Uh, you can make it copper, you can make it gold, you could make it silver. Or any color. Any color. But you'll see how pretty. Hematite might be pretty too. Oh, mm -hmm. he, let's do a let's do a highlight with the hematite. You could do um, the flowers in another color too, or yeah, like mix it with it. Yeah. No, not mix it with it. Just do a highlight. That would be really cool in like the tops of the wings and stuff. That's what I meant. But yes. <laughs> oh, combine you know I mean? it. But yes. Because yeah. I'm thinking of you when you mix. Like not completely mix. Don't together, mix the two like, colors, mm -hmm. right? Oh, beautiful. Uh, Amanda says, thank you for always being so sweet. Oh, my gosh. You're welcome. Well, that's why we're doing this for you guys. Yeah, so we, we give and take, too. And it, I would highlight, I ideas. would take that and go over the top, the very top tip like it was, uh, yeah, really crank in there. I think you can drop a bunch in there. Yeah. Yes. Love that because you can always go over it again, and it might be kind of fun. Get some of those. 
Like, Karen is wondering if you're okay, Ainsley. You seem a little droopy. Just oh, yeah. Just I'm fine. I'm low on sleep, and I just have my stomach ache, so I'm tired. What can we do Karen for you, honey? Karen resident mama. Oh, it's okay. Ainsley. I have dealt, this isn't even that bad because it's like a very mild stomach ache and I've dealt with really, really bad ones before. Well, so, and this is why I'm helping Ainsley along so she can get through her little, her little belly ache. But look at this, look at how it changed that, you know? And then, then you can even add like little, should we add a little pink? What do you think? Or do you love it? I think a little pink would be fun. Okay. There. I like this room it has going. Right it's here. almost like the sun's glistening on the top, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm just going to add more right up. Well, right hummingbirds always edges. have, like, um, they're multicolored like that, too. Like pink yeah. and, um, like, an iridescent green um, color on them. Yeah, Peggy doesn't like paint on the back either, Jean. Oh, Cookie hates you, bubbles. We should get yeah. She's you're right, Peggy. We should get her. A <gasps> you're coke. so right. Oh my gosh, she needs a coke. Yep. That's what I was gonna say. Help with the tongue. How do we yep. get her a coke? You. We could get her a fountain coke for from the gas station just down the corner. We have the seltzers too in my mom's car that we got. Oh, Jean, right. why don't you go get the seltzers in your car? And Jean... Oh, you left them in the Yeah, because just in case box. it happened again. Yeah, I'll get it. Okay, Wait, I'm is that alka seltzer? Or yes. seltzer water? No, no alka seltzer. Let's go for it. Uh, yeah, I'll run out and grab that. If you want to watch the comments. Now, I think since you put that little pink outline, now put a bunch. It'll hold it in. Now put a bunch of your white gold on top of that as the highlight rim. Okay. And then we can um we can show how that could like really go over the top for the last little I love those little tiny hints of pink in the flowers. So the first one was of course just the base and I let you can leave the base which is just amazing. Oh yeah, look at that. And then you could then you get the hint of everything behind it too. Um, yeah. Do you like it? Yes, I do like it. I think the pink glow on the edge makes it look like extra poppy. That was really fun. Okay, do you want to hold it up in your hand because we know it's plenty dry because that's from yesterday, and then you can show the different angles of what you just did. Oh my gosh, the whole thing that I'm looking at here um, is so beautiful. Like Ainsley, your, you, your top, the beautiful flower behind you, everything on screen. It's like a whole thing. Um, so um, Renee was asking, how long do you have before it's too late for those bubbles on the floor to lay? Are there bubbles on the floor to lay? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there are. Go ahead and pop them. It's, you want to pop them right away. You don't want to wait because you're, I mean, it's not going to be the end of the world for sure. Oh, you can use the side of the head pin. I mean, eye pin. Um, it's not the end of the world to yeah, do it. Yeah, there's so much paint pulled up that it's fine. Yeah, to do it later. But you will want to get it before it completely dries. Yeah, and it dries a little bit faster underneath the lights, so. Yeah. Good question, Renee. I love it that you guys are asking these questions because we learn a lot. She's probably like me, like like uh, in the background looking at the bubbles. Is this, are you going to make this? Silent, silently being anxious. Um, yeah, I was just trying to figure out if we had something else to put it in. You want this in water or you, you want, want it in yerba? Yeah. <laughs> Mm, that might be a little, might be a little gross. I would put it in here, but for sure. What do you want it in? Probably just water. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not risking. Can you guys my tell who the crazy one is in the family? <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. Ginger helps with stomach aches. Sure does. You know what? Mackie actually has some ginger. Look at this. 
Maybe you have I make Arizona concentrated drink. You're kidding me. So what do you want? Ginger? Mm, ginger. No, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, have you ever... You don't like she ginger? I only like, like, the Japanese ginger or, like, ginger That's ale. That's what it is. Oh, like, the it's Japanese, like... ginger. Like... Yeah, it's what it is. Like, how, how it's, like, sliced up like that? No, like, I... Whole slice it because yeah, it's still in form. Oh, fresh ginger. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Nice. All right. Oh, so, friend. what are we doing now? Oh, I She's love, got the good stuff. love, yeah. love the other one. All right. And I would yeah. just leave. Let's that. just. I'll just pull it on screen here. for them to see. Yeah, it's so pretty. How that came out. Oh, it's so pretty. And we'll just leave that one sit to see what it looks like before we want to do any highlighting probably be ready in another 10 or 15 minutes to do more highlighting but that turned out absolutely gorgeous so that's how that came out oh Angel, you know what i did to speed up so everybody could see what the fleur de lis is gonna look like i used the heat tool would you like to do that yeah let's do that but stay far enough away because but we don't what i did swirl. i was talking to you and we were talking and talking and then <laughs> yeah the, <laughs> i bubbled, bubbled my it. I bubbled my butter. Oh, is that butterfly on? Guys, holy moly. Before Ainsley does this, look at this. I'm freaking out over that. That it might be the prettiest pretty. butterfly I've seen. You guys all have good suggestions. Wait, is that on there? On where? It's on. Right? It's not all the way on, but it's mostly on. Ooh. Here, you know so what? Pretty. I have to have you have to hold. I'm gonna hold that, you guys, because look at this. Yeah, and it it's came upside out down. amazing. Right. Oh man, I'm making a gazillion of these. That is so beautiful. So again, this is not necessary. However, if you want to see how it's going to pull up, this is what you do. <laughs> you can just munch on it, like keep it in your teeth or whatever. It's probably like the absolute perfect thing. I'm going to pull you up a little bit. Stay about three inches ab above. Otherwise, you could get some bubbling and you want to do that on purpose sometimes, but not today. I think we have a little bit too much paint. Should we pick some of it up? Yeah, you could wick. You could show the wicking technique. I did that on one of the others as I wicked a little bit. I think we dried most of it down now. Yeah, dry super fast. Well, do we want to show the resin technique on this one? How fun would that be? Yeah, I think maybe resin on this one. Let's do it. Instead. Because there's just so much paint on it this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then you can see the difference of with and without. We'll I switch places. Demo demoing today. We'll be switching places with the rent with the resin on the butterfly. We resined a butterfly, and today we'll only resin mm -hmm. the. So you've got a a before and. Mm hmm. Or an A and B. Sample, yeah. Right. I think I it's really gonna like be like looking at this flirtily upside down. Actually, Me because too. Uh, mm. that's how I would design with it. I think. Uh, I think I would put the hang some things from the bottom of it. <coughs> I'm just going to get this ready for you, honey. Okay. Thank you. And I'm going to put it on your lap. There you go. <laughs> I'm just seeing your cute little pop on. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than just showing up in the back. And then you can use the back, or you can use your silicone brush. Yeah, I was about brush. to do that. I love using the silicone brush to spread it. It's just such a wonderful tool. And another tip, it's really important to make sure all the paint is dry before you add your resin because the paint will not cure under the lamp. 
it cures with air and resin cures with the UV. So either in the window or under a lamp. I really love that look. So that one had way less of the white gold in it, didn't it? Yeah, I think the hematite <clears throat> is what's pulling through. Dominated it. Yeah, this time. Gorgeous look. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. That's mesmerizing looking. <laughs> Renee, you crack me up. She was freaking out over the bubbles. Said, I would too. I'd want to just pop it. Yeah. Pop <laughs> that like, bubble. You know, ah. it's like secretly straightening a picture in your brain while you're in a meeting or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's a good thing that, um, Renee, that you said something because we might have forgotten about it. For sure. And you can, if you oh. guys forget. It's kind of spicy, Ginger. <laughs> have a little heat to it? Yeah, more than I was expecting. <laughs> if Wait, you... that's saying a lot because you have a high spice threshold. It's not spicy in like the, like, but I just wasn't yes. expecting there to be like such a. Strong. Yeah. Strong him, in your face taste to it. <laughs> should we give them a win-win about the bubbles? What to do? So if you guys get a bubble, you leave it in, you're like, oh, shoot. So you have a bubble overnight. That is a lot of liquid. Oh, my gosh. Are you going to love the taste of all that? I do this much. I only do, like, <laughs> gee, you got a what? whole. I don't take Jesus, this stuff. Some ginger. More ginger. <laughs> Well, it's fine. Okay, that's good. It's watery enough, but it doesn't need a spoon because there's so much piled mm -hmm. into the bottom. Sure. It needs it. to be mixed in. That's yeah. my favorite part. You know, there's all that sediment at the bottom. You, you just, just make a, it. you make it a shot, and then you just just chug the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I just eat off the seltzer by the tablet. <laughs> oh my gosh, your stomach <laughs> on the inside. Oh. So if you guys leave, if you guys accidentally leave a bubble in something overnight. And it's, um, there's a big giant, he's like, tuk, tuk, tuk. and there's a, do it right next to your ear, would that be yeah. better? <laughs> Back to the bubble. Um, if you guys leave a bubble in your piece overnight and you're like, oh shoot. And there's a big crater. You can take your side cutters and trim a little of that paint out. And then just put in a dab more and, and fill it. It works perfect. So we'll show one of those one time. And this might be still wet. We'll see. The resin that probably should be would good. fill a decent amount. How long did you do it? Too, 120. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. It's actually didn't. Well, a little bit of it is still wet. Oh, was some of the paint wet? Just so like I think one part of it maybe. Oh, okay. So here's the deal. If you still have wet paint... Yeah, every, there's just this little spot. That that's tiny not... bit. Okay. So you'll just need to let that air dry now. Yep. That looks gorgeous. Love it. Okay. Which one should we do next? You're almost done. Why don't you do your butterfly and dragonfly and just do them rando? Oh, no. Actually, someone these? asked about the... Yeah, let's do those. I'm going to give you the tip of these because these are, these are Lucite acrylic, the, the it's bird of paradise concerning. orange one is especially, um, the bird of paradise orange one is especially like silky. I want to just say, kind of just want to say, um, shiny. That's this one. Reflective. Reflective or something. Yeah. So there's, is that, am I on screen? There. Yeah. Okay. So it's got a lot, it's harder. It's like a much harder thing with a super shiny surface. So what I, I don't, you should not start with your um, stains. The stains are going to be afterwards. So this one now you're going to go with all of your metallics and you're just going to do the same type of thing and pull up all your metallics on each of them. Okay. And that's including the violet, the um, iridescence. Yeah. Do a nice, yeah, and do a nice little 
generous, yep, little pool all around. You can do it on all your pieces, Scarab too, at the included. same time if you want. Scarab wing included? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sometimes you really uh, appreciate the detail in a piece, but aren't in love with the color. That's exactly this what this great, is. a great uh, technique yep. for that. Do not love the orange. Although, somebody was saying orange is making a comeback earlier today. I like the color orange, but only in, like, specific things. Right. Small, specific doses. This is a very pretty color. As an accent, like, if it's showing through. Yes, it is. That's what I loved it showing through. Just not as the dominant color. I think you lose a little bit of the detail sometimes when the piece is so bold. Okay. Hematite is your last one. And you can repeat this pattern. You need to clear that tip again, right? Yeah, this one particularly is just... I cleaned that off, too. I know. I pulled it for a reason. It's your under the lights. That's double doing it. Hey, is any of that stuff helping so far? Yeah, my tummy does actually feel a bit better. Yay! I'll bet it was 90% ginger, 2% Alka-Seltzer. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Okay, so what I would do is um, do your uh, <laughs> small cameos next. <clears throat> Let that have a chance to, to mm-hmm. dry a teeny bit. Peggy, I'm right around. there with you because I don't look good in orange. You know, Angela, you can also pull uh, pull that around to where you want it. Because this one, it doesn't need to just sit. Because it's, you can just make that effect to, you know, where you want your cer- certain colors. That's what I did. And pull them down around the sides and let it pull down. And unless you want that orange band in there. That might be pretty. How would you say this is on your therapeutic scale? One to ten. Ten. I love it, too. I like anything where it's just like you're paying attention to detail, but it's not too much pressure Mm -hmm. for it to be, like, absolutely, like, perfect. Yeah. Me, too. And the same thing with these ones? Yep. Yep. Now you can do a rinse and repeat. You can do any, yeah, all the, um, here, I'll help you pop. I'll grab this one. I'll help you clear the tips as you get them. Might as well do something while I'm sitting here, right? Instead of blabbing. Now, this is the only part I'm going to be guiding Ainsley with because I did this technique yesterday. <clears throat> we wanted you guys to have... This one, you have to do it all the way down to the bottom of it. Okay. I'll like, it has to, like, you have to touch the thing to the very... Yeah. I think another thing that's happening, too, with this technique, you want to clean them afterwards because we're touching the other paints. This one should be ready. Right. You know what I mean? We're yes. touching the paint. And so it's coming, it's like the tip gets a lot more, um, yeah. Someone was asking about your heat tool. Um, so I pinned a similar one. Good. In here. I don't have to use the heat tool, but. If you want one. Yeah, we. We generally don't unless there's a specific effect that we want to get. Or if you're being impatient. Oh, yeah. I that really would be like us. the way that first cameo is settling. Me too. Me too. The colors are so pretty. <clears throat> and, and, like, you can tell that what's going to happen with those, like, the hummingbird cameo... What's going to happen with that is it's going to pull the same way pretty much. If you want different colors to be the accent, just put more on at the time. Like if you want more pink in your uh, around the edges, just drip out more. I 
Oh, I like how you're pulling it up from the sides to get some of that coverage. Yeah, this one's just a little, it's not as smooth, so you have mm -hmm. to get into those nooks and crannies. We've yeah. got a few strong opinions about orange here. Some, <laughs> some love it, some hate it. It's pretty funny. I, <laughs> I like orange a lot. <laughs> but I also can actually wear orange, and a lot of people can't. So oh, Robin went to the so University of Tennessee, <laughs> so orange is in her blood. <laughs> Wait, OSU, it, it, orange is one of the colors, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it's orange and black there. Robin said we can send all the orange over to... No, it's not like that we don't like orange. <clears throat> it's just that we don't like it on yourself. design with it, too. Yeah. But some of our well, it's not here don't like it. Oh, yeah. And some love it. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. So she's yeah. saying, all you guys that don't like it, send it to me. Okay, so now what I did, now that they're sitting in there and settling, and you can start with your Bird of Paradise one, which is gorgeous, by the way, just sitting there, is now I will drip on my stains. So I start with the whitewash, and then I just go right on it. Yep. Here, I better clear yeah. your tips. These light, what are my, you know, it is warmer outside too. You guys. Makes a difference. Just walking out to the car, it is so pretty out. I know, it feels so Wait, amazing. after the live, we should take a little, a little like, more, a little babe. walk. I would go a little, a little more with the white, because that's going to be, yeah, good. Now, let's go with primitive your. Primitive green? Yeah, primitive green. I'll put them right here for you, so you can just shoot and grab it's kind of nice to see those two stages of even just what the metallics will do. Yeah. Because you don't have, like, every piece doesn't have to be oh, every no. paint in the kit. No, we rarely do this. Yeah. This was just a, this one was really fun to use them all because yeah. they're all so complementary. Yeah, they work so well together. There, now you can just move them around. If you want your pieces to stop bleeding, pull them out of the paint. Unless you want them to keep pulling. <clears throat> there we go. I'm just going to swirl this around. Oh, pretty. See how now that pulls up and it stays like, now you can really see the stain colors coming through. Because you've got that nice base. And those, I would honestly just push those to the side, let them dry, and then you can, um, while you work on your other pieces. I'm gonna have to use the head or eye pin to move it since it's sticking. That's big, yeah, that. Cause it's a big pile. Yeah. That's <laughs> cute, the outline of the butterfly. <laughs> You can tell Ainsley's feeling better because she's giggling. It's kind of hard sometimes just to be present, you know, all the time, even when you're feeling yucky. But, you know, I must say you still look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Me, when I'm not feeling bad, I mean, when I'm not feeling good, you know it. <laughs> You know what, I think that's, I think everybody just feels that way because I say the same thing and I don't know. Yeah. I think you just feel like you don't present well, but you do. So what do you guys think? What is your favorite part of the lives? Do you like the jewelry design part or do you like the paint techniques? The resins, showing the the shopping part. What what is it? All the unique goodies. Oh, I know, Lisa. I just got <laughs> like my taxes done too. Peggy said you could wear gloves too, so you don't have to get your nails yucky. They're not think? yucky actually. I only got it like one spot, but. There's you only a, my nail appointments really soon, so. Well, can I have those? Can I have less. your leftovers? 
<laughs> like, can we just save those and glue them onto mine? Peggy Ooh, says you everything. Carlene says painting. Julie says paint. Oh, God. Pull that picture nice. up. So I like it all, and I like the pace of mixing it up with different things. Angelia, I'm gonna on this one. I'm gonna say you should wing it. Don't even That's go what in I'm order. Doing. Don't even go in order. I can clean that off too. So paint, paint everything, Peggy. Paint like stain. Lisa says jewelry ideas. Um, I like the shop. That's great. Yeah, Monica says she really Electric likes shop. seeing everything that we offer in the shop oh, live good. on camera, right? So oh, you can see yeah. it like demonstrated and the different views. It's a little different than just a one-dimensional photo, right? It is. Oh, and Lisa says oh, the camera. Oh, waiting for that. Sorry. Helps yeah. for scale and size. Oh, good. I'm really glad that because that is the whole reason we're doing these lives guys is so we can show you all the stuff that we're you know that you can do with all your beautiful things i think too like you can get lost in a sea of choices and it just shows you yeah narrows it down right for sure so here you're so quiet today i'm sleeping over here you guys <laughs> speaking of not feeling good Sawyer feels fine, but he has said, what did you say this morning well, about sleep? I'm the most it's tired. really easy for me to fall asleep now? No. I'm the most tired I've ever been in You're the most tired of you've ever been in your life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if that comes with daddy territory. Now, this is one, when I made this ain't, this is one that I wicked after I put down all my... Oh, this, um, this comment by Carrie is nice. <gasps> Hello. She said that she watches the replay over and over of the pink paint techniques. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's really good to hear. I'm glad you're learning. Oh, ah. That's a good idea, Avanda. She says, could you do a live of how your creative minds work on actually coming up with designs in your projects. Absolutely. Well, in fact, we pop on. Yeah. We, um, so we did that the one day, do you remember when we, um, we did a little pop up live when we were creating the trunk, when we were doing the trunk show. Oh yes. So like, maybe what we could do is during one of our design sessions, we could just, you know, you guys would just go, wow. Yeah. How like, as we're, like, maybe as we're laying out some yeah. stuff for a future kit, right. right? Like, things we think might go together to make something. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's, uh, that's not candy. That's Ainsley's Alka-Seltzer. Did you know that? It's yeah. like medicine. It's like medicine. Do you know why she had to take medicine? Because her belly hurt. Ask her if she's feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> so shy when she knows all of you ladies are here. Oh, you your Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's oh, really pretty. Lisa said her favorite tip recently is to go ha on paint to pop the bubbles. <gasps> oh yeah. I forgot who said that. Was it Renee? My memory is I'm so bad. I'm trying to remember. Okay, go ahead, show it. Oh, Karen says she also rewatch, rewatch, and right rewatches here. the video. Right <laughs> here is the. <laughs> oh, a little oh, over. Thank you. And she said she she, um, oh, she makes sure to like and post all posts all the videos. Karen said, "Thank you so much for doing that, Karen." Yeah, for sure. We really appreciate it when you like the videos because then it gets sent out to other people. And then we can expand our group and share our knowledge. Okay. Doing the Trump show? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't even know what she that would it. look like. <laughs> Trunk, You're fired. Trump <laughs> show. What it would look like, right? I forgot he did that. <laughs> show a lot of things right yeah 
I'm glad it's a truck show. Let's say that much. Me too. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do all stains on this? Love. You know what? Um, this one also was wonderful for wicking, so you could see the pattern come back through. Yeah. That's kind of a fun little... Can you move that up in the screen a little bit? Mm -hmm. And to the left. There you go. Perfect. Oh, you want to hear a really cool, fun thing to do? Do you see mm -hmm. your uh, dragonfly? Put a drop of iridescent in a dragonfly right now and watch how it pools. You could do either the violet or the green. Yeah. In the, in the pink. See the pink? Where the big blotch of pink is on that? Oh, yeah. like right here? Yeah. Yeah, the and then we saw this the other day. Isn't that amazing how but it the does that? And neons, oh. right? Like what they do? Yeah. Just magic. Incredible. And then those will all just like blend in. That's so pretty. That's really um, like, what would you say? Ethereal. I always use, I overuse that word, but I, and when we're talking about this. I don't know. I think we all have our favorite words. It's really not hard to overuse. Ooh, that's fun. You did a full on go for it. Yep. I love what's happening. That's that cool. Dragonfly. So what would you call, what would you call what you did? You just kind of did a I full did little, fledge. I just did little drops of um, circles of paint. And scattered throughout it. And then just did a full-fledged, straight-on wick instead of a corner wick. Yep, just So you're kind of just blending. Yeah, I'm just adding color where I want it. That's really pretty. I like the blending of... Um, a little bit extra of this over here. Right yeah, look at the magic that's happening with that dragonfly by doing that. That'll be fun to see a piece without any metallic or iridescent. Yeah. Yay! You did it! So gorgeous, yeah. Ainsers. What are you going to do next? Stretch? We just have... The only thing we didn't paint was um, these. Oh, these. The little birds. Little birds. What are you going to throw on them? Just some scarab wing or... Let's just do some of this. And some of this. Just kind of go with it, but put more of the... Jean, can you... Clear some of the space that's by Ainsley mm -hmm. so that we can move the next I'm just going to put the um, this jewelry kit back up real quick. Nice. Okay, if you guys want this jewelry kit, it is... Is it up? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, we're on a yep. delay. I keep forgetting. Yeah, I just moved it. This is, whole thing, this eight-piece thing is only 38 bucks. And it's a full pendants and two full pairs of earrings. And so that's like $4.25 each. So those birds that Ainsley's doing right now come with ear wires. And so do the cameo. You can hold these up and while, when you're done with that. Oh, those are pretty. Isn't it crazy how fast the stain wicks? Yeah. Super pretty. They're in the way bottom part of the screen under the comments, but you bringing them up shows shows them off. 
Stephanie said, great job, Ainsley. I love everything you did. Aww, Lynn says thank that you. dragonfly piece is gorgeous. Great job, Ains, from Avanda. Oh my gosh, love the look from Lisa. Oh, will you hold up your uh, hummingbird to, to show how that dried? Because mm -hmm. that is shocking. It should be dry, right? The bird it has is. a little, like, tailwind streak. I am an, I am obsessed <laughs> with that. I like that better than mine. I'm going to let you have the one that you detail painted, and I, I get this one. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you will hold up your the fleur-de-lis to show the difference between... The unresined one and the resined one. The unresined. <laughs> the one without resin. resin. Lips. Okay, that one has resin in it. Gorgeous. And you can hold this one up right next to it. So you get two completely different looks um, by just depending on how much more paint you put of one color. And then also... You get that beautiful resin with just the hint of the pattern underneath. And this one, and then the other cold enamel look. It's just really gorgeous. And then can you hold up the two butterflies? And then I think we are ready to move on. Unless you want to paint, are you going to paint? No, we're not going to paint any of the art metal. We're just going to show pieces painted for them, right? Oh, well, we can and paint it if we want to. If we just want to do one quick one. How's your belly though? That's fine. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. We'll just do She's some... She's used to, like, going through classical ballet performances True. with tummy issues. Or just even right. class. This or, yeah. isn't that bad compared to that. Can you hold do my ballet the classes. But butterfly higher up in the... It's The thing is, is yeah, when really the comments to... are on, you can't see them. Oh, there you oh, go. wow. Now you can really see... Wow, those are gorgeous. And look at how it looks like clouds in the dragonfly that's drying down there. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It reminds yeah, me of something well, specific too. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, um, oh, turtle, turtle. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. tortoise shell. Yeah, tortoise yeah. shell. Yes, yes, like a pink, pink tortoise shell. Yes, that is exactly what it reminds oh, me of. Puffy cloud tortoise shells. What could you like? Could you want anything more than that? Yeah, let's just do the same technique of our just drop it on and just see how it looks on. Why not? Might as well. Cutest name for a band I've heard one time. I think it was on um, the voice, not the voice. Yeah, the voice maybe. It was called Midas Whale. Like Midas and like, Whale. Like a Midas touch. Like a Midas. whale and a Midas. But it sound, every time you said it, it sounded like, you're, might as well. <laughs> might as well. Might as well. With accent. Cute. Might as well. It was super cute. So what are you guys thinking of this paint combination? Do you love it? And are you going to be... Getting the set, or are you going to add to your set by making sure you have everything? Or what do you think? What, what, um, do you love it enough to use it? We always love to know. We're making these paint sets to make your life so much easier so you can just create and you don't have to think. Like the hardest thing for me when I'm doing watercolors is going to the you know, the paint store or hobby store or whatever and picking out the colors I want. I mean, I would love just to see what I need just so I can get down to the fun stuff. Oh, Lisa, you should. I was, I actually, again, like at five o'clock in the morning, I got up and I'm like, can you, you to clear it? Yeah, because you have the straight one. Yeah. Um, I got up at like five o'clock in the morning and I'm like, oh, I really need to have a watercolor there for Ainsley. And then I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that to her. I think, um, wouldn't that be fun to put on watercolor need, paper? Might need to move your, I was about to do that. Okay. Yeah. Limited on space. 
Ooh. Don't you love how it shows up on the green? I mean, on the black. Sorry, here, just pass it off. I'll do it. I'm like a resident tip clearer. <laughs> it won't be that bad when it's not under the lights. Yeah, no, it's not. I love just those greens, too. Oh, Lynn says she's actually doing this as Ainsley is doing it on some vintage pieces I've never used. Oh, you should have them at home. Kind of getting the whole class experience, right? If you do, if you have all the paint colors, um, you can do that. Follow along with the What the heck are you doing? I know. It's so pretty. It's just fanning out just the way it's happening. And you're doing this in the same order, right? Yep. Oh my gosh. It's just the way. Yeah, just the way it's pulling on this particular piece. I'm going to move this out of the way for you. Thanks. There you go. Oh, yeah, don't let them touch your dragonfly. Oh, well, you it's do the it, same do colors, it. so it doesn't really matter, right? Let me pull this guy away. Get him to safety. <laughs> We're so protective over our goodies. I just, honestly, I've never used a full set in one piece. Like, I can't even, it, I mean, this big. Obviously, I do the Raku in one piece right. on all the pieces. Yeah. But this, all the pieces together, they just blend so magically. Let me move this one out of the way. What? You're kidding me. I wouldn't have even thought of doing that. So she's just starting from the center and like radiating out. She's been doing that the whole yeah. day, but this one, she did it and then poured. Yeah, and then I just let it pile down to the bottom. Soak up some of this. That's a good idea, too. Like, if you don't want to move your piece, um, you, can either, you can either do that or you can soak up. Wow, that is beautiful. All right, guys, get a feel for the art metal and what it looks like with all the paints and. Do you want to put the art metal? Yeah, oh, it's up. Already. She put it up. Oh, thanks, Jane. And that's that. You guys, there's if you want to see exactly, just go to the live shop. There's a really good close-up picture of everything you're gonna get. And here's an alternate. You want to show that again, like the alternate way of this painting. Is the rock hoop. Yeah, paint set. Gotten a setting to go in that um, that pack, that uh, rare vintage findings, and another little piece fell off. So the one I showed wasn't even complete. Mm -hmm. Great job on the painting. Did we wanna? What's next? Swap out the your ear cuff. Oh yeah, let's do your ear yeah. cuffs next. Next, I'm gonna give you this tray because I think this will be really beautiful. Ooh, we don't want to upset her beautiful. Mm -hmm. So can you grab underneath? Yep. Oh my goodness. Seamless. Did you know these were going to turn out this good? Because uh -uh. you looked at mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're like, mm. and then you, you did your magic I'll and they turned out even out. better. I was just following your instructions. I know, and they just, you must have been, like, more patient or something. Can't well, imagine I didn't that. use the detail tool besides oh, the Oh, that's true. And I did. I'm going to, I'm putting this one in a setting because the glow of this. You want to put those up here when you're doing the assembly, too. You can. Yeah, so I'm looking at the backs of these pieces, guys, and it doesn't even barely look like Ainsley got much on the backs at all. Do you want to show this, 
just to show how the backs would look with the paint in and then turn it over. So really, it's surprisingly not that much comes out on the backs. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I need also, to move this. Also, we should have you model the uh, ear cup. This is our cascading blossoms, ear cuff and earrings. Who designed this kit, Ainsley? Who? 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 <laughs> it was me. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to just say, oh, I designed this cuff. But this was a product of, remember, you had put it in one of your design mixes, and then you asked if people would buy them, and then they said, or what, where was where, it? I don't know what it was no, in. We were talking just, about ear cuffs. Bindings. It was oh, no, it's, no it's because you had it on my ear. You made it with the one oh, earring, and you yeah, changed it to right. an ear cuff. And so we talked about that, and we asked them if they would be interested in ear cuffs. And now Jane's putting one in into yes, progress. We're, we're going to be adding it as a part, and also we're going to get some stock here in the studio. So we can keep That's it. super yes. exciting because I love the idea. Yeah, and this one right now is super limited because we're just using what we actually have here. Can you just have 12 of those? What the set is yeah. anymore. looks like on and then... Um, yeah, we can do that. And then swap to big, big camera, maybe? Well, I can see you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Uh, what was 104, Carrie was asking? I'm not sure. Do you want to check while I do? I don't know. I'm just sitting here mesmerized with Ainsley's paint things. If you do paint anything, I say squirrel. <laughs> so that's what I'm wondering. Would you paint any of this? Or do you like it gold? Oh, 104 was art metal. This, variety. I personally like it gold, but um, I do think it could look Can super just, cool. Yeah, like yeah. if you painted it and made it look like enamel. Oh, yeah. You can say that. You what? Goodness. Yeah, what about it? Should do 1.5 with two ounces for the... What does it say on it? It does say how many ounces I think on it. It does? Okay, so, I'll check. I'll check. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. These are drying so magically. <gasps> Is that really how that looks? Do you have the full view? I'm moving it to that right I'm now. I'm dying. Okay, guys. So here's <gasps> the one side. I'm zooming in. Ooh. That makes me want to too. wear. Look at the camera a little bit. Cuff. Ains, kind of look at me a little bit, or right here. There. That looks, and then look, look at over here, this light. Okay, now right here. And then here. And then here. Is it like an eye exam? <laughs> and then there. <laughs> oh, the no, you get to see it? all the angles. I'm going to zoom in now, a little closer. Oh my gosh. I, how does that look so good on you? Probably because I designed it. <laughs> <laughs> you design what you like, right? Yeah. That's always the thing. That's gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm just going to show you the cuts, basically, that I made so that we can get this specific assembly. I'll take these off in a second as well. And you said they're really comfortable too, right? We had some questions about that last time. Yeah, it's super comfortable. You won't even, at least I don't notice it at all. Something you guys may not know about Ainsley is she cannot lie. It is impossible. <laughs> you would see it on her face. She'd be She'd like, be like <laughs> her eyes would get really wide <laughs> if it wasn't comfortable and she just wouldn't say anything. <laughs> or she'll just like. I'll kinda, redirect just the conversation. Kinda, like, look down like yes. this. Yeah, look away. <laughs> she just kind of like closes her mouth and looks down. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's funny, Ainsley? Our birds turned out the same. Exactly. We must have just been inspired the same way to do our that birds. That is funny. <laughs> 
Okay. Stephanie says this set is so gorgeous. It is. And it's very, very reasonable. And it seems pretty easy. I mean, 22 bucks. I would get a lot of them. Give me one second as I pop these off so I can... Jean, do we have that on our website any longer? What? What is it? The flower. Um, maybe. Possibly. Is someone asking? No, I always There's like to know if it's... I. I, I like to um, find out ahead of time mm -hmm. because inevitably somebody asks, can I get these on the website? And then mo so many of the times we can't. Right. Just because it was an overstock run from a private label or something like that. Okay. So, as you can tell, we have two of the same flowers, but that is not what we end up with. So, I'm going to start with our we do cup. Have it. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So, if you guys want to make a necklace to match this, you can go on the website and get the um, get another piece. You can go on the vintage.com. Vintage .com. So, our very first cut, you can see we have this piece right here and this earring right here. And we're just going to clip off this branch right here. So, I see quite a few of you guys commenting. There are only a few left, so you might want to check out. Oh, yeah. You won't read these. Your card is not reserved until you check out. So, if somebody's, something's a lower quantity, go ahead and check out. Don't worry about it. We combine your orders. And it's, and it's free shipping. shipping. <laughs> jinx, 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 jinx. Although we didn't need to do it because I found out that it would automatically refund their shipping. On, on I know. We really didn't but it's okay. have to do your shipping guide, do free shipping, but then we realized, no, we're going to we're gonna do it. Yep. We think it just makes it easier. It's less stressful, too. Yeah, who doesn't love free shipping? Like, it's I weird. love free shipping. It's also it's also kind of weird to like put your money out there and then get like. I know. Wait for the refund. To, like, yeah. Be refunded. Yeah. Like, you have, like five orders. That's like twenty five. That's like twenty five bucks. Right. It's I know. Really stressful to like, think about like, it oh, working I right. Twenty five bucks more, and then yeah. you get all of it back. Right. Exactly. Oh, that's, uh, that's weird. Yeah. So right now I'm just filing where I cut off, so it's nice and smooth. Are we want to polish or? Hey, Jean, are yeah. we, um, my screen is frozen. It's not frozen on okay, good. here. It's just because of the The signal. connection. Yeah. Okay, connection. I just want to make sure everybody's seeing this okay. Looks good here. Great. Okay, so this piece is done. All you have to do after this part is um, you'll want to cut off a little bit on the end. Then roll it. I can just show that because it's so easy. So I'm just going to cut this oh, off. Lisa, as soon as Angel's done with that, I'll tell you. Go ahead. Because I'm just filing at the moment. Oh, okay. So Lisa says, remind me how to handle things. If I have checked out through the cart, but I also want additional items. For example, I don't have any white paint. Okay. So the paint... If you want different paint than the sets that we're selling, you'll need to go to the website, and that won't be combined. So vintage.com. Vintage.com. Yeah. We now, only sell bundles. 
The um, only thing that we, see, here's how it works. We are in Idaho. The live studio is in Idaho, design studio. So we do everything. We ship everything from the live shop and from the lives from here in Idaho. Now, if you go to vintage.com, that's at our headquarters in Illinois. And so that's separate. Now, they do have free shipping over a certain dollar amount. What is that, Jean? Uh, $39. $39 and over there's free shipping there on vintage.com. Yeah. So that hopefully that helps you. Yeah. So just, yeah, it, it allows us to be able to sell single things, um, which we don't do on the live shop. Do you need something? A uh, needle nose. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'll grab it. And you get to say hi. <laughs> okay. Oh, does that one have a spring in it? You need a new one. It's fine. Okay. I'm not using it for very long. So now I'm just going to roll this. Camera. So we're just rolling this guy. Do you roll away or towards you? I can't tell because this was reversed and you're frozen on my screen. Sometimes I Rolling. have to um, roll, roll exit away. the. She rolls away? Yeah, I roll towards. And I roll away as well. Roll away too. What do I do actually? Jean rolls toward, or um, um, Jean Ainsley. Mackie away. rolls towards. Huh? Oh, I do away. Right? Are you guys a towards I'm or away? Okay. Maybe I'm better at rolling towards than away. So I just I see a roll thing. this. Both of them do it. <laughs> Who knows? So we just have that rolled, and this is just all ready to go. You'll just slide it into your jump ring. It looks like some people's screens um, froze. So if your screen freezes, just go out and come back in. Yeah, exit, and then re and usually that's just a Facebook connect connectivity thing. Yeah. Because the stream didn't um, pause here at all. So, and then for this other piece, I'm going to clip off the extra. It's just left over from what I clipped off. And we're going to use it. And just clipping off the extra. <laughs> Woo! That went flying. Yeah, I tried to angle it down so it wouldn't. You but... tried to what? Aim it at your mom? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I remember, so my office back in Illinois, well, when the kids were little, used to be carpeted, like this portion is here. And when I would clean, when I would vacuum up there, you would hear the <laughs> of all the little jump rings and things that got caught in the carpet. I was always tempted, tempted to empty out the, the tank to sift through and then like, oh, nah. nah. I don't want the it's other mostly, stuff like, that's in there. Mostly clippings. Yeah. You know, not so much jump rings, but... Oh my gosh, I'm, Ainsley, I'm putting, oh, Karen's a towards Sawyer. Really? Yeah. Peg is I, away. I just, I just did it. I realized that I naturally sense. do it away, but I'm better when I do it towards mm. me. Really? Okay. Now this component is good. The only thing that you would have to do is for this ear cuff now is your hole punch here here and here and then you can string your beads through those holes oh do you want to show how to just how easy it is just to open the jump ring and stick them on oh yeah Here's these the ones one. are super easy to do so we yeah. made this so you don't even have to wire wrap we paired them up with the best jump ring Hainsley did I shouldn't say we I can't take credit for that. Ainsley paired them up with the just, look at that. <laughs> oh, you're off, a little off screen. There you go. See, it just slides right through. Oh, I did get to see the corner of it, so. 
Okay, so that's how you do that. This one, just a hole punch up here and then sliding it through your ear wire. Now for this other one, we have to do some more clipping to make this happen. So first things first is I am going to clip off this flower, but we need to keep these two leaves. As you can see them, they're coming down right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull this one away and pull this one away, trying to get it as separate as possible. And it's a little bit easier if your um, side cutters aren't as dull. There goes that piece. And then we're just going to do the same thing we have been where we're using our filing tool so it's not sharp. One of my favorite. I might go through and just snip this off so it's a little bit cleaner of a line. One of my favorite things, Ainsley, is using one piece to make like three or four pieces. Yep, that's super fun. It's also very frugal and thrifty if you can do it. Well, yeah, because this piece gets used so much, it's fun to like use it differently. Yeah. So I believe these are pieces. sold out. Um, but I think, you know, once we get some more cuffs back in, we can Yeah. We could probably restock. Yeah, these Yeah, are, that was the only thing that limited this one. These can come back in stock maybe in a few weeks, so or a new one. Yeah. Well, or the same we definitely have cuffs. to sell the same one though. Yeah. This one is like so beautiful. Is the cuff a little different? Um, I think the one that we're getting in is hammered. Um, but we'll compare it. Nice. Now that I filed that, I'm just going to push these in Plus towards each other. And silver plated. Avonda would like to know what you would charge Ainsley for that. Oh, they're gold and silver plated? Yeah. Nice. Ainsley would like, or Avonda would like to know what you would charge for that full set. Personally, it's a little bit more intensive of work, so I think probably a higher price point for this kind of set because you you're have, doing a lot of clipping and filing. Like $58, $60? Yeah. Yeah, yeah or, yeah, because if it's all three. Yeah, all three. Yeah. Yes. Well, the ear cut. Because it's more than a standard pair of earrings because there's three pieces. Yep. We always say yeah. three times markup. Like, if you buy it for 22 you should sell it for 66 Okay. I'm going to clip off a little bit of the top of this, and this one doesn't actually have to be filed down because um, I use resin on the back, and so it doesn't actually poke anything. And then this piece, I'm going to clip off the this branch right here. You could. So those are attached together with... Peggy said a couple of different styles would be great, Jean. Yeah. Your cuffs, yeah. Yeah, we will. And if we want, if we want more of this floral one, um, I would. That's the yeah. floral one. Floral one is beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna file some more. I'm sure we can pull that one out of the archives too. And you know what? I didn't think about it, but we can pull back out there. That might help a little. So are those um, attached together in some way? Yeah, I actually, so I tried doing the glue. It was just taking too long yeah. to do the glue, and so I just ended up resining it because it was just going to be way faster. I so think smart some, of our, does lot. some of our backstage pass ladies could probably solder it too using yeah, they the actually, master they, class technique. They could definitely so do that. If you wanted to, you could use Sawyer's class technique to yeah to so you can see i just pieces. globbed the resin on and then i i'll do that with you guys sawyer i loved your master class yesterday that was so hey, fun see, so so i see what i finished doing mm. after i watched your class because i'm like oh yeah i need to finish doing those oh those are those are so cool worry about that one so i'm just gonna flip this Let's over and yeah, that's, that's the, like, faux solder, right? No, this is real. Oh, that's real solder. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 
Oh, that's right. You did a master class on it. No, nope, I Or you haven't done it yet. I'm gonna. Yeah, I had all the supplies and finally got the right flux in. That's pretty need, cool. I like those. Liquid that's a great idea. Oh, yeah. Work. It was so work. I'm just Weird. dropping it in the center. That's cool. Okay. And then I am sticking her down right there. Would you put another piece underneath that to hold it up? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking would be necessary. I always do that. I use, like, maybe even this leaf yeah. to go underneath it. I do that a lot when I'm trying to get my things level. I'll just take a piece from my desk and um, stick it under it. Hi, I was just showing Sawyer my um, samples because I'm wearing a, two if of them If you push today. down on this, do. Like that. Oh, yeah, that helps. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And then I'm just going to readjust mm. this piece so it's where I want it to be. So would you say this is kind of like a faux solder technique? Yeah, you could look at it that way. Um, for sure. You seem like you're feeling a lot better. I am feeling a lot better. I'm so glad. I even snuck a slice of ginger and I'm going to do it again. Me too. That <laughs> sounds amazing. That's so smart to just keep the fresh stuff around. Do you want me to hand you the light? Or are you good? Re reaching it. I should be able to reach it, I think. I'm, I'm going to get a slice of ginger too. Oh, yeah. oh, this is not the candy ginger, is it? No. No. That's I mean, the sweet, this is really super. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said okay. that. <laughs> oh, like yeah, I that's said, why I said no, this is a bit spicy. It's no, a little shocking. If it gets a reaction from Ainsley, then it is strong. <laughs> yes. Sawyer, did you slice this? Is this fresh ginger? Yeah. Oh my, no wonder. No wonder your belly feels better. Oof, that's so good. Oh my goodness. Wait, so what do we even have left? Let me look at my list. Okay, so we've done the paint set. The, I mean, the paint set, the jewelry collection, which is the painted jewelry, pendants and earrings, your cascading blossoms. Then, oh, we've got Mackie's um, kept treasures charm bracelet necklace. And you're just mm -hmm. going to describe that. Yep. It's yeah. just super easy. It's just super easy. Assembly. And then her uh, bead, bead mix. Bead mix. Yeah. And then, yeah, we already so did the art metal. We just need the ocean bed blue. Oh, yeah, we need to show her layouts. Yep, we'll yeah. show those. They're already on a board, which is great. Yeah. You already pre-laid them out. And we just need to show her little bead kit. Bead mix. Wind it I better get that on a, in a thingy, right? I'll put it on here for you. winding down and you know what i am going to play hard it is 75 degrees out and it is bluebird skies and i'm gonna like actually when i say play hard it means i'm probably gonna do a project at home <laughs> play i have hard. um actually yard work at this time me of too year. that's what i'm yeah. like raking that's and playing to me I love yard work. One year, I raked out the hole from Bench Street to Main Street, that back hill. Oh, my gosh. It felt so good. Yeah, it does. Okay, so now these two are stuck together. That's awesome. Yes. And then all you have to do is hole punch it. And the, everything else is just basic, simple assembly. Same thing with this, just a hole punch. And they're all super easy to hole punch. Ooh, Peggy says mushroom hunt, question mark. Oh, yes, Peggy. Wait. But not yet. Oh, yeah, it's not soon. quite easy then. Whoa. It's very soon. Oh my gosh, yes. I cannot wait. Mushroom, mushroom hunting for me is life. That's a life, mama. Remember that? 
Have you guys ever seen that reel? That's all black. I showed Sawyer yesterday. Oh my gosh, the cutest reel ever. This little boy has a girlfriend. That's my girl. That's my girl, mama. She's my girl. That's, That's on all live. Black. You have to see it. Type in YouTube. My girl, that's on life, and I promise you, you will <laughs> smile for the rest of the day. It sounds so super cute. This cool. little boy Very is hilarious. so beautiful. Oh, and just, <laughs> and he calls his mama, bro. She's like, <laughs> bro. Okay, it's bro. It's first bro. of all, and I'm just going to let you know that you, you can't be calling me bro. <laughs> that's not cool. Here you go, honey. Okay. That's, that is a beautiful, beautiful set, Ainsley. I love it. When I saw you were doing work with a cuff, I was really excited. But I did it, not have like a clue it was going to come out like that. Mine mm -hmm. always end you up looking like... You finish it yourself. <laughs> you know those mine... I did most of it. I did the harder parts. You just need to do some hole punches. When I was thinking... Of, um, what you need, honey? I'm just going to set this down. Easily. When I was thinking about doing a cuff for myself and the long danglies, I thought mine would end up looking like, you know those eyeglass holders that the long <laughs> <laughs> Like, how does Ainsley do this? That's what mine would look like. Ooh. I'm going to run away. Ah! Apparently, it really wants to escape. Oh, okay. Peggy says there's morales popping up in Tennessee. Whoa. Well, that's because it's so much warmer down there. It, we're still cold up here. So, I'm jealous, though. Who's this is our else? Ocean Bed Blue Limited Bead Mix that Mackie made. Which is super gorgeous. Yeah, there that center Swarovski piece is just highly, highly faceted and beautiful. And do you want to pick up one of those lapis composite beads that are side drilled? These, These. yeah. And just show like how it, and these ones vary in their um shape. shape. You can show the little angles of them, but this is a really beautiful collection. Yeah, these are gorgeous. I would make a bracelet, earrings, necklace, or two or two yeah, pairs they of earrings, have necklace set out of this. Amazing energy too, don't they? Ooh, they said there's crazy winds in East Tennessee. Robin said. You know what? The weather changes here quite often in the spring. We can go from 50s to 70s in like no time. I can see those with like uh, natural brass, long rectangular hammered elements. Ooh, making yeah, a necklace like that, that would be gorgeous. Yeah, this, I really like this. It feels you know, very inspiring. Mackie's geometric jewelry that she used to do back in the day. Would yeah. Look really pretty with this. Yeah. Okay, Ainsler, they can find that in the shop. That's great, beautiful, love it. Now, if you want to pull that cuff oh, over to Ains and that off. And you, all you have to do is explain the assembly because there's nothing crazy. Maybe just explain what it can do. So this is basically a charm necklace and bracelet set. All of these are clipped on to here. So super simple assembly. Um, does this chain come finished or do they have to do that? No, it's finished. Okay, so you're completely okay. finished. So you're, all you're doing is attaching Two. each Mary. of these little components so like with okay. jump rings. For some reason, I don't see that on the screen, Jean. Or Jean. Did you oh, put it on? That? I need to add it. <clears throat> what is it called? It is kept secrets. Ah, yes. Here it is. is. Perfect. Kept treasures, not kept secrets. So, yeah, just basically <clears throat> you are doing a bunch of little different jump rings, um, setting this into this bezel, and... Is there only one wrapped loop in there? This one, right? Yeah, this is the only wrapped loop, which isn't really necessary for it to be a wrapped no. loop, only if you want to. And so we have so many I'm videos put this doing on those. You, actually, no, I'm going to put the whole necklace. And this is fun because you can um, clip them on and off. Yeah, you can change it from the bracelet to the necklace. And I'm just going to put 
this on you to show how it looks because it's so gorgeous. It's super cute. And it's super easy to get on. And you guys get to see me. And you get to see Sawyer's. Look what Sawyer made me. Okay, wait, how can I? Make sure I'm in frame. If you're not a member oh, wrong of the way. master class, Wait, guys, we're the wrong way? Way? Yeah, yeah, there you like go. Even more See this gorgeous techniques. pin he soldered? So love it. Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> yes, Sawyer. I, it made me happy just seeing it on my stand. Good. <laughs> Good. Glad you like it, Mom. Does that feel good? It feels really good. <laughs> and she likes the necklace. <laughs> yeah, it, She's it, just, it does uh, look super good. Carrying on the anti tradition, right? Yeah. Like Aunt Barbara. That looks <laughs> so amazing on you. It looks super good <gasps> with the outfit. You really need to make that. How show, long? That will take you how long? Too? Um, yeah, we just show the bracelet. We, did, we didn't yeah, show she, it on. Okay. Yep. It's really cute on with the Odie and any charms, but you yeah. could pick whatever charms you want to put on it. Yeah, you can just... Or you up. can make your own charm. Super easy. Just lobster clasps and just whatever. Yeah. Even so, your vintage vintage mix, you could probably find a bunch of cute little dangles. Well, I was thinking about... Yeah, I was thinking about this one, Ains. <clears throat> All the little... Wait, where's the other one? Yeah. All the little charms that go in this. Just a couple. There like, there's a bunch of little tiny charms in here, so you could easily make them into um, them with just lobster cloth and a jump ring. If you want more for your bracelet. Yep. But that combination that she did, it's got two moons, that big chunk moon Swarovski piece. I love that. Do you want to do your full view of you? Yeah, I will. Right I'm now. showing them that really <laughs> quickly. Because so I get to see it right here and it looks amazing. That's a vintage uh, filigree, uh, the original way of doing filigree, silver heart in there. That um, is a super cool uh, crystal chaton channel set chaton there. And then that lucite petal is gorgeous. That's an art glass in setting stone. That's a malachite art glass. And the moon and everything just looks absolutely great. And I love them. Yeah, so that's, I would know, how long do you think it would take to make that? Maybe like 20 minutes, 25 minutes? I think it would take that long. Well, you do have to glue on the one tiny little I think it would probably take like five minutes. <laughs> For you. Right. So it's a fast make. Easy, yeah, because most of it most of it is just like assembly. Yeah. For sure. Well, I'm gonna leave that on you because I think that looks great. And while we're doing that, let's move on. We're actually, since these are all sold out, mm -hmm. we're just gonna show you the layout and because Ainsley pre-did this for you. Oh, they're gone now? Yeah. Somebody snatched up the last yeah, one. Yeah, they snagged the last one. Yep, so we're just going to show you the layout so you can take a screenshot. And I'm going to try to get this all on. That's how many pieces are on this. Um, there we go. There. Okay. So take a snapshot because she did a little bit of work there. I'll move this off for one second so you can get a nice picture. <clears throat> And that's for anybody that bought that set. Okay, five seconds. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Okay, she's gone. Ainsley, do you guys want Ainsley to keep making these limited design mixes? I'll give a heart if you want her to keep making them. <clears throat> Okay, get another snapshot opportunity. A little sad I can't talk about it because this one was super fun. You can talk about it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can talk about your inspiration of what you usually like to do because you're going to be making more. Yeah, I'll make more. 
I'm just yeah. used to being like giving a little spiel There's for everybody, a, but I made some lot. earrings, <laughs> which it's I'm like, obsessed with these. Yeah, there's like <laughs> tons of hearts coming. <laughs> um, this we thought looked super cute inside of here, which you know normally set inside of this type of filigree. And then these earrings are just amazing, which we said Ooh, you I could drop into cluster. them. This yeah, I thought would be big. amazing to just like Ugh, drip yes. down. A bangle, a ring. You know, I'm giving guys everything. I thought these would look cute as little charms on there. If you just hold punch into the bangle. <gasps> What's that idea? I didn't even think about hole punching. And if, if the bangle is thin enough, you can use your pliers. But if not, use your screw down hole yep. punch. <clears throat> and then lots of little beads to just strip everywhere. It drips and drops droplets. But yeah, very oceany. Mm -hmm. I wanted to create something super oceany and eclectic ocean type of feel. And then I also included this so you could use Mackie's technique. Chris Jones says, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Um, and that's it for those. And I think we've done everything right. Yeah, you know what? Why don't we just leave this here and you can run through all of the things again. Just on the... Um, okay. Just as we're talking. So. Oh, should we... I should... I'm going to show you how your piece is dried, too. So, while you're going let's through... Let's first do the them. paint set. So, cart 100 for our reflection pool. If you did not pick this up on Wednesday, you can get it now. Give you a few seconds for Can you hear that. me upstairs? Just waiting for a connection. So what's that? It looks like we're live and let's just oh. you guys were looking at um whatever camera view, but I'm it's it's uh there. I got it's you. It's looking at the bar. It's looking at the bar? So it's Oh, it's coming from the... Where is it coming from? No, it's it was... Hey guys. I took that off. It's yeah. the built-in camera. Okay, yeah. we're back. So <laughs> the iPad died. I'm going to show you, for fun, just this whole setup that we normally have. This is what it takes for this live for you. So we've got a little cute set list. list. And look at Jean. There's Sawyer over there. Just chilling. <laughs> I'm there's a phone here there's this is how it looks isn't this cool this is how everything looks on oh, this is what Ainsley's managing as she's doing a lot yeah, normally it'd be over here but we had to move it so we could get the charger to reach the phone that I'm holding you can't see goes in here and then that takes a picture of Ainsley here so it went, one of them went, went to the iPad, actually. We forgot. We didn't forget to charge it. It just really drained today for some reason. So, I guess. Oh, yeah, we were going to show the result of the. Yeah. This is the last thing we wanted to show you because they are, it's so gorgeous. I'm going to show Ainsley. Oh, look, and here's the ginger she was eating. <laughs> I'm going to show Ainsley at work here showing you the last little bit. You're up in the corner, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah, she is. She's and okay. so this is our fluttering garden. This is how everything came out today that we painted together. And oh, this one's not part of the fluttering garden, but I did paint this. And this is part of the art metal kit. And it's just an example. I love how that looks. Yeah, that came out crazy. It's amazing. So I kind of wanted to see, Ains, um, the... The biggest change to me was the butterfly, or the dragonfly, how it ended up. Can you hold that up to the camera? The dragonfly with your... This yes, one? that one. Because that's all dry now, isn't it? Yeah, that looks... Oh, it's mostly dry. I can see a little bit of wetness. Look at that. Super cool. Oh. It looks like that one kind of puffy cloud that just kind of separates and then Ainsley uses this computer for little hints and that was like the lineup of all the paints so and this is what we all use all the time to survive popping up the art metal <laughs> kit up there for you guys 
Oh, and this is what the design mixes look like. This is kind of a fun, like, little view of what things look like as we're presenting them. That's the, that mix is the vintage rare findings mix. This is some of the pieces that Mackie did yesterday, or on Wednesday. And Ainsley's pop, popping up the, that, well, we'll do a double of that. Wow. And then the only thing we have, um, we have more of the ocean blue. Yep, we have some ocean, we have. Pop that up for you for a second, and then we should have gone through everything that's available. I think everything else is sold out. Oh, the necklaces that I'm wearing. I'll pop that one up as well in a second. The kept treasures. Yep. That's aptly named, I think. It just reminds me of something like if you were like a little, little uh, otherworldly person that was stealing little trinkets, like the little, and collecting them, the little sprites that go around and pick up things. Yeah, yeah, they're just <laughs> little thieves. Some they want the shiny objects. And here's that gorgeous kit. Oh my gosh, whoever got these is in for a treat. See, this, this shows you right here. So that's what they look like in the tray. That in the tray doesn't even show close to what they actually are like that. Wow. You nailed it, Ains. Okay, right. we can end now. I, I hope everybody enjoyed today. It was super fun painting with you guys. And we'll bring you super awesome stuff next week as well. Some people got the little sneak peek yesterday of the amazing oh, necklaces. Into a flyby. Can you make this the main? Oh, you did. Here's the flyby. Okay. That's all you Coming get to see. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're working on that today. So... But yeah, that would be everything. We hope you enjoy and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye.